What's going on guys? This is Roger here from the Klein Reef and uh, I'm going to give you an update on how the room's coming along. Unfortunately, there's no sump as of yet, but a lot a lot has changed since I think my last video. Um, as the first thing you can probably tell us isn't where it normally is. Um, originally it was right here and I turned it 90 degrees and and uh, put it against a window. It'll make hanging the lights a little bit easier because there's duck work above where it was and it would have been bit of a hassle, but um, here I can hang it from, you know, it might be, the cords might look a little weird, but I can hang it from here, or I can move the tank over even farther, um, but um, this will generally be the position I want the tank in, and also, and if you guys can tell, the stand's also 10 inches higher, so originally, I think it was 24 inches tall, and this stand is now... 34, 5 inches tall, so it's a good 11 inches taller than it was, and um, it should be give me enough room down there to put a sump down there, and um, I also finished polyurethaning this part of the stand, and then I have two more center braces that'll go here, and then a big um, flat piece of plywood that the sump will rest on. All that's getting its second coat of polyurethane. Uh, it's drying right now, actually, so that'll go in tomorrow. Um, as for the center brace, um, in the back, I figured I probably wouldn't need it. Uh, but I might put one in just for peace of mind, but then I have to polyurethane that, too, and it seems kind of... I'll see if I need that. But um, a close update of the tank, you can see I put in the egg crate, and what I did was just cut out you know, area for the overflow box, which I'll go over in a minute, and if you guys can see it back there, it's cut out an L, and it sits right on the overflow box, and then it's raised up about, you know, eighth of an inch by its egg crate, um, it's holding it up, and it's just a little piece of egg crate, and it's just sitting like this, and then this egg crate sitting on top of that, so it's this far uh, from here to here off the ground and that should give me enough um, if I boost it up any farther I'm going to reduce growing room um, like if I boost it up an inch I'm only going to have nine inch a little bit less than nine inches to grow corals and that's not what I'm looking for so this should give me um, the space I need plus uh, those big plugs won't be those big PVC holders won't be in the way because I can just move these little pieces of P or, uh, egg crate to fit line up with the hole so they won't interfere with any of the frag plugs that I just ordered from, oh god, I'm blanking on the name. But um, as I find the name, I'll take you over, uh, this isn't the temporary, this isn't the permanent spot for the lights, but I can take you over uh, through the overflows, which were painted all black with Krylon Fusion. Um, so they actually match everything. I know there's a lot of black on this tank. Um, but it looks really, really good. I like that it all matches. It's kind of cool. And I got um, the all my frag stuff from TB Aquatics. Uh, and I got it. I got 100 plugs, 200 bags, um, and a couple mag plugs for for later if I ever want them. All for like 25, 30 bucks. So that's really cool. I did the overflow box, and that's what I'm trying to show you now. I wish I could give you a better view, but. Uh, the lights in the way. But I can take it out. I can take the standpipe out. I just, uh, if I can actually get it out. There we go. Uh, so I just painted the top of it. Oh, it got really close now. I just painted the top of it black and because that's all I'm really going to be looking at. And then uh, this is an air valve from my dad's work. Um, it's just kind of, there's a little piece of tubing in the hole. I don't want to rip the, so there's a little piece of tubing here and I just pressed it all the way down make it look a little bit nicer and then um, this outer knob controls the airflow through and then um, this bigger knob locks it as far as I know there's no water that'll be coming into contact with this and if it does rust that's just GFO basically ferric oxide is GFO which is what rust is so rust isn't bad for a tank actually um, but yeah I got that all I got those all built and sized they look a little tall but um, it, they're, the bottom of the pipe is below the teeth, but I'll have to probably do some more adjusting with the air valves and the height of the pipes and everything. Um, I did install, I built the overflow box on the live stream, I don't know if you guys saw it, 
um, and my dad um, sawed off all the teeth, um, and then I cemented it all together, and then uh, we siliconed it in um, right after. So that was, uh, that was a project. The silicone turned out better than I thought it would. The back doesn't look so great, but um, I, I went in and took a, like a razor blade and cleaned up the sides really carefully. Uh, no scratches, luckily. But um, what else did I do? Nothing. Uh, I think that's everything I did. Um, the rest of the room is pretty much the same, except I moved my water here, so I got a bucket of salt, three buckets, no, bucket of fresh, three buckets of salt. Um, I always have a bucket of salt on backup on, in case I need it. Um, styrofoam bags there for shipping stuff. Should it last me for a little while. I shipped Matt's frags. That was an adventure. Really pain in the ass. Um, to get all that to fit tight and nice, but um, I think I got the art down. I just need it to get warmer so I don't have to worry about um, heat packs that I can't seem to find around here. But, um, yeah. So, you know, I got the same. This is nothing changed. RODI, bucket, sink, laptop. And then, um, yeah, tank. This, and then workroom. Right there you can see uh, is the bottom of the stand up on this table here, up on the table saw. And then uh, my wipe off board that is now empty because I haven't crossed anything off in a while and it made me frustrated. So, yep, yep, there's an update of the room. Hopefully, hopefully I can get the sump this week and plumb it and make it fill it up and be happy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's all I got for now, guys. Um, thanks for watching and, um, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, recommendations, or anything, leave them down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and um, happy reefing, guys. See you later.